Good morning, Cosmic. How are you all doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. And thank you for all those people that keep asking. Today, it's my privilege to be bring to you the first in a series of three looking at relationships. And today we're gonna to be thinking about the relationship we have with our parents or even anybody who uh, looks after us or might take care of us from time to time. So let's start by reading from the Bible. And we're gonna read from 1 John chapter 3, verses one to seven. And I'm gonna read it to you from the children's Bible. The Father has loved us so much. He loved us so much that we, were, we are called children of God. And we really are his children. But the people in the world do not understand that we are God's children because they have not known him. Dear friends, now we are children of God. We have not yet been shown what we would be in the future. But we know that when Christ comes again, we will be like him. We will see him as he really is. Christ is pure and every person who has this hope in Christ keeps himself pure like Christ. When a person sins, he breaks God's law. Yes, sinning is the same as living against God's law. You know that Christ came to take away sins. There is no sin in Christ. So the person who lives in Christ does not go on sinning. If he goes on sinning, he has never really understood Christ and has never known him. Dear children, do not let any person lead you the wrong way. Christ is righteous. To be like Christ, a person must do what is right. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? What that whole passage was talking about, it was a letter that's written to a lot of the early Christians, who people who started following Jesus and, and understanding the teaching of what he'd been saying about who God was and the plan that he had for each of our lives that God loves us and he loves us so much that he sent Jesus so that we can know him because we've all made mistakes. I know you all did a, uh, an activity hopefully earlier looking at how our parents sometimes make mistakes because we're not all perfect. Maybe you've written down something that your parents done or someone who's looked after you did that was really embarrassing. I know I've embarrassed my children from time to time. Wearing t-shirts like this embarrasses them. Five things I like almost as much as my bike. Well, maybe what your parent did or what the person looking after you did was even more embarrassing than a t-shirt. But this is the fact. Even though we make mistakes, God still loves us and he wants us to know that. And that's why Jesus came, so that we can know God's love. And that's what this passage is talking about. That if we love Jesus and if we love God and we want to be like Jesus, then we need to stop making mistakes on purpose and make plans to do things that are right. So when we make mistakes, we need to say sorry and we need to try not to do it again. We need to show love. And that's what all our relationships should be built on, is love. Because if our relationships are built on love, then we can forgive people when they make mistakes. I know that you will have written down some moments that you are really proud of your parents. And I know there's times when your parents have been really proud of you. In fact, I know there's lots of times when God looks and he's really proud of you. Let's continue to show love to each other. Let's spend some good time and let's celebrate the fact that we are called children of God. That is amazing. I mean, just take a minute just to think what it feels like. The fact that God calls you his child. What do you think that means? I'll tell you, it means he loves you as much as he loves Jesus. And it means one day we're going to see God and we're going to be with him and Jesus. So take time to show love to the people that look after you today. And I hope you have a wonderful time doing the rest of uh, Cosmic at home. Until next time, God bless. Thank you.